All right, Nate, thanks. We are just two days away from a full reopening for the city and the state, but you might be a little shocked once you get back out there. Some restaurants say they'll be charging more. Anthony Pulse is live tonight to explain why. Anthony. Yes, Corey and Dawn, these uh, increased menu prices really come down to simple economics. There's a labor shortage right now in the restaurant industry. Food wholesale prices are higher and then mix in what's expected to be way increased demand uh, when things really reopen. I think people are ready to have experiences outside of the ha their house and they're excited to get out there. But when you do get back out there, the Illinois Restaurant Association says to expect the largest menu price jump since 2008. Food prices are going up, labor costs are going up. Uh, they rose sharply in, uh, you know, in April. Uh, for in a fourth consecutive month, we saw beef, pork, fruit, dairy up, labor cost up. Those increased labor costs, the result of fierce competition for workers. Right now, labor is in short supply. People aren't, you know, working like they were before. They don't want to go back to work. They're getting like, unextended unemployment checks. Already this past year during the pandemic, menu prices are up almost 4%. Don't expect that to slow down once the economy fully reopens. And let's face it, the demand right now for restaurants is the highest it's been in a long time. Fortunately, the people we talked to tonight seem more than willing to dig a little deeper to enjoy a night out. Especially if it's employing people or helping a restaurant, a local restaurant, a lot of these people shut down. They might be willing to pay a little bit of a premium to, to have that type of an experience. We also are willing to spend a little bit more to get out of the house and do more things. And also earlier earlier today, Chipotle announced about a 4% increase to its menu prices. Uh, the company says it's to help offset increased costs associated with raising that company's minimum wage up to $15 an hour. And analysts say don't be surprised if other major restaurant chains follow suit. We are live tonight in Evanston. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32 News.